done me a favor and let those guys land a couple more punches. Question for you. Looking at that tape, I'd say you spent some time in the service. But you don't learn how to fight like that in the regular army. So what were you, Special Forces? Delta? I'm Carter. You didn't give us a name. You know, it's funny. It seems like the only time you need a name now is when you're in trouble. So am I in trouble? No, no, you tell me. You're the one living on the street. Making that transition back can be tough. Some guys I knew got a little lost. Needed a little help adjusting. You need some help? Of course, some other guys I knew. They'd done so many evil things. They felt like they needed the punishment. That sound more like your story? Excuse me for a second. Start talking, officer. You think I'm gonna run on my friend? <laughs> Please, you can tell the DA all about your crooked pals. I wanna know about him. The guy who came after me. No, no, ain't. Uh, there's just some guy alone in a suit. Yeah, well, you're going to tell me everything that you don't know about him and where I can find him. Yeah, Carter. You've been asking a lot of questions about me. It's time we sat down face to face. Who is this? You know who. You want to meet me or not? Go. Can you hear me? I think you can. Guess you're out there, hiding in plain sight. I keep looking for you. I keep finding myself in some bad situations. You could always stop looking for me. Not an option. Now I've got two more bodies. I don't think you killed those guys. But I think you know who did. I'll take care of it. Playing a dangerous game. And I'm not sure I understand why. I've got my reasons. Maybe you do. But every killer I locked up thought they had a good reason. And that is how this ends. Sooner or later, I lock you up. Or find you bleeding out somewhere. I will take my chances. What is that, uh, surveillance from the Center Street robbery? Mm -hmm. Your ex-CIA guy? Is he in it? <laughs> He's the star. The guy in the ski mask? How do you know it's him? I just do. But look at this. See that? Yeah. They had an exchange. Exchange? Watch. Right there. He says something to the little guy. And look, little guy says something back right there. Well, did you get his name, his address? Yeah, he's a paralegal from Normanstein Rivner. Name's Burdett. You think this Burdett heard something? Might lead you to your guy. Carter. Is she getting close? All I know right now is you pissed off real police, my friend. She's not gonna stop till she got you. But I'm pretty sure the Carter's working at a crime scene. Hey, is this dead nanny have anything to do with the missing kid? I'll call when I need something else. Hey, whoa, whoa. You need all the help you can get right now. I mean, if I can ID the nanny killer, it might help you with the kid. Am I wrong? I'll give you a way to contact me. Keep me posted and keep Carter out of my way.
whose number came up. Mutual friend of ours. Detective Carter. You're staying with Grandma until I'm off this case. Hey, Taylor. <laughs> So I saw you got that uh, homecoming dance coming up Friday. You gonna go? Yeah, it must be tough being a freshman. All the girls going out with the older guys. I already asked somebody. Really? Yeah. Well, I want to meet her. I'm gonna be late for school. I I'm taking you. I have time. Stay. I thought I'd charge this thing. After you. Thank you. Raised you well. Mm. Did you know she had a son? Didn't know you cared. No dad in the picture for some time. Yeah, they're leaving now. You better hurry up. Bench, Carter's going right into Hector's shop. Primary suspect in the Ronnie Middleton shooting. I've been looking into our new number. Carter, detective first grade. Homicide task force, single mom, teenage son. Served as an army interrogator. Passed the bar no four, gave it up to go back on the force. It's impressive, Mr. Reese. Impressive lady. Honest to a fault. Which means she made a lot of enemies, both in the criminal world and in her own department. Well, she's a walking target. Gonna have to keep her in sight at all times. You have to be careful. Get too close, you risk getting caught. It's a chance I gotta take. What am I supposed to do, let her catch a bullet? Just put it on your desk and face it towards Carter. Why? Because there's a camera inside, and we need to know everyone she's talking to. She in trouble? Well, you tell me. Ask around with some of your corrupt pals inside the force. Hey, what's going on? What do you need? I need to find out who might want to take Carter out. Well, wait a minute. I can't be involved in something like that. No, Lionel, just turn the camera towards her desk. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, bitch, you better get your hands off Shut me. up and get your head down. Ever seen you it's all for show. Must be one of her CIs. He could still come after you. Oh, sorry, detective. I didn't realize that was you from behind. A lot of fine girls out today. Keep it moving, lover boy. You gotta be careful on this block. I heard some kid got popped last night. You got any kids, detective? Stay off this block. I see this car roll by one more time, I'm gonna impound it. I'll be seeing you around, Mr. Castillo. Get out of here. Let's go. Elias wants Carter gone. Possible he'll use someone with motive. A suspect in one of her cases. Carter's at a bar. I thought she was on duty. What kind of degenerate does that to his wife? Carter's paying Kovac a visit. Why is a homicide detective intervening in a domestic case? Maybe she's like us. Trying to prevent something bad from happening. I promise you. I got a pretty big gun. Man as angry and bitter as you are. I got a feeling it ain't that big, Eddie. I gotta admit, Finch, I sure like her style. I think we got a new front runner. Hello, what do you miss me already? You're a hard man to miss, Lionel. I'd say this Carter situation's got you worried. What are you gonna do? all around from that one i'm not you are i've got some business to take care of don't let her get in any trouble carter's gunning for you oh she's probably gonna catch you why are you spending so much time trying to protect her she's a good cop good person hell you should try it sometime lionel yeah thanks look i'm just saying if she wasn't around it would probably solve a lot of your problems now wouldn't it if anything happens to her lionel i'm coming for you next Hector's on the run. 
He's not going to be a problem for Carter anymore. Is everything okay, Mr. Reese? We got into this to stop bad things from happening to good people. Carter's been doing that her whole life. She's not just another number, Finch. Some people the world can't afford to lose. Somebody would gift wrap for us. Somebody's been doing that a lot lately. It's for you. I guess I have you to thank for this. How do you always know when something bad is about to go down? You're in trouble, detective. I'm not the one who's hiding. Look, you keep playing God, and sooner or later, an innocent person's gonna get hurt. I can't let that happen. Listen, I didn't call to talk about me. Your life's in danger. I'm a cop. My life's always in danger. You're not listening to me. I'm trying to tell you. Someone wants you dead. Who told you that? Why are you following me? What do you want? I want you to start being more careful. For instance, if you're going to take down Hector Alvarez, you should know the man's running guns. He has an arsenal at his fingertips. What? Why are you helping me? And how do you keep finding out all of this information? Like you said, I always seem to know. Finch, Carter's called an ESU unit to Hector's warehouse in Queens. They're getting ready to knock on the door as we speak. Do you have eyes on Carter? She's clear of the line of fire. If Hector puts up a fight, it could be dangerous. How will you be close enough to protect her? Oh, I'm pretty close. They got this place covered, right? Absolutely. Everybody set? Yes, sir. Oh. Do it. Go, go, go. Everyone's eating. Doesn't sound good. You hear something around back? Mr. Reese? Hector's got a new set of bracelets. Should keep him busy for a while. That's for Ronnie. I told you I'd get you. Hey, Taylor, baby. I'm running a little late. I'll be there soon. Sounds like Carter's headed home. We made it through the day. Have we eliminated the threat yet? Kovac and Alvarez are neutralized. But this is a tricky case. To be perfectly honest, I'm just not sure. Finch, Carter lives uptown, so why is she headed downtown? Wait a minute. Where'd she go? I lost her. Track her phone for me. So where you been? You said you was gonna buy me dinner. Where you been? I've been waiting. I'm sorry, BC. I gotta fill out a requisition for the big payout. But look, why don't you take whatever I no, got? That's all right. No, no, no. Gotta do all Let's that. just call this a down payment, okay? I want you to have that. I'm sorry, Cardi. <laughs> you always been good to me, but I ain't got no choice. You told me to find that guy, Elias. But I found him. Sorry. Said it's either gonna be you or me. It ain't gonna be me. Glad you took my advice about wearing that vest, Detective. I know this doesn't change anything. I know you'll still arrest me if you get the chance, but you should know. Whether you like me or not, Joss, you're not alone. <sighs> Elias got to Carter's CI. 
turned him into his trigger man. Is she safe? For now, time to end this finch. Once and for all. Elias can't kill a cop without permission. Run this up the chain of command. Permission's been revoked. Tell Elias if he so much as touches Detective Carter again. I will put him, you, everyone on the ground. You got that? Who's got your back? You don't have to worry about me. I can take care of myself. Besides, we got each other. Who else do we need? Yeah. Mm -hmm.